I will talk about um, bird clay. Um, so bird clay is a competition that happens yearly on Kaggle. And the purpose of bird clay is to identify bird species um, from these long soundscapes. Um, it's hosted by the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. So this is a, a pretty big lab that uh, maintains, I think they maintain eBird. Um, and it has $50,000 worth of prizes. Um, this last year, there were six and a half thousand people who entered, um, almost a thousand teams and 30,000 submissions. Um, and so this year in the Bird Clay 2024 competition, um, they partnered up with a group in India um, to help ongoing avian biodiversity efforts in Western Ghats. Um, and so it's important to, to help build systems, to help identify bird calls, because uh, it's easy to collect this kind of data. You just put up a, a recording unit somewhere in the field, and then um, you can use machine learning techniques in order to um, figure out like where to pay attention to in these audio tracks. Um, so this ran from April 3rd to June 10th. Um, so roughly, I think it was like 10 weeks. Um, and this, this competition was, uh, part of clay of life clay. Um, so there's a, there's two parts of this competition. There's the leaderboard competition, um, which is based on this macro average, uh, ROC AUC, um, which is uh, a class, a multi-label classification, um, metric. Um, and, uh, they had this separate working notes award, which for the best team, best two teams, um, they won two and a half thousand dollars each. Um, so actually our team, our team won, uh, two and a half thousand dollars. Uh, so this competition was, a uh, a code competition. So you have to submit a notebook. It has a running time of two hours. Um, and yeah, the data, the data set that they give uh, is basically, they give you a bunch of training audio. So there's training audio that has like one folder for a bird species. Um, you might have two or you might have 500 like clips um, of varying length. And then they'll give you these, uh, they gave us unlabeled soundscapes. So there were, I think a thousand or so unlabeled soundscapes that were 10 minutes each. Um, and this was new from last year's competition. Um, additionally, they give you some training metadata, which is useful for being able to figure out where the bird calls were taken from. Um, I think there was, uh, like an, um, uh, where it was taken from Xenoconto, which is like a crowdsourced, uh, thing. And so, uh, yeah, that's the competition. Um, I think it's interesting because biodiversity is something that I think is worthy of attention and effort. Um, and so I've I've done this competition for the last three years, uh, actually four years that I didn't finish the the very first year I started. Um, but I think I think this is a really interesting competition. Um, the prizes are cool, the data set's interesting, um, and there's there's a lot to to learn.